Hi, I'm Catherine. I live in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania now, but I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Rockport, Massachusetts. Rockport is a fishing village, and it's on the very tip of a place called Cape Ann. It's not an island, but it's surrounded on three sides by water. And in growing up there, I was not very athletic. Now, I actually played all different sports uh, in our neighborhood, and I had lots of fun doing it, but I wasn't really very good at any of them. I'm pretty clumsy. I kind of fall down a lot, um, and I'm not very competitive. So I wasn't a great person to have on your team if it was really important to you uh, to win. I tried out for the basketball team in middle school, but it turns out I'm very good at shooting baskets if I'm standing still and no one's near me, but I'm really not good at it if people are running towards me. So that didn't work out. So it turned out what I did in high school um, is I rode horses. And in riding horses, there were two things that I loved about it. One, it wasn't competitive where I was, although you can ride horses and be competitive, but where I was, it wasn't, it was just fun. And I suddenly felt very graceful because the horse was graceful. And so it didn't matter that on the ground that I was pretty clumsy. So this was a nice way uh, to have an activity in high school. Now our high school didn't have a swim team. And honestly, it didn't even occur to us um, that swimming was a sport. So I had told you that uh, where we lived was surrounded on three sides by water, and most of our parents did things that related to the water. A lot of my friends, their parents, um, caught lobster and sold them to the restaurants. Uh, there was a big tourist industry, so people were taken out on boats and did fishing and did sightseeing. So swimming for us was just something that was natural. It wouldn't have made sense to not be able to s swim because at any given time we might be in the water and just for safety we needed to be able to swim. So I don't remember when I learned how to swim and I don't think any of my friends did either. We just all were able to swim and didn't think about it much other than that. So I went off to college and I went to the University of Massachusetts, um, which is in the western part of the same state where I um, grew up. And the western part is, is very different. Uh, there's no ocean, it's inland, uh, lots of mountains, it's very green, it's beautiful. Uh, and when I got there, I learned that to graduate from this school, you had to do some kind of physical activity. So really kind of some kind of sport. And I, I had about a week to figure out what I was going to register for. So I had to sign up for this thing. And um, I was really worried because, I, like I said, I wasn't really good at any sports. And at the college level, um, people would be pretty good at the sports they were doing. Um, they did have horses at the university, but then these were competitive um, riders. And it, it, you had to have a lot of money to do that activity. And I, I went to college on a scholarship, so I definitely didn't have a lot of money. Um, and I didn't want to compete doing something like that. So, so that was out. And that was kind of the one thing I knew much about. So um, back then uh, in college, you actually had a, a book you looked through for the different courses. Now you, you look at that online. And I was actually sitting with friends, and they had all decided what they were going to do. So they were trying to help me because I was really pretty worried about this. Um, and they kind of asked me what was I good at, and you know, I'm not really good at anything. And one of them finally asked about swimming. And remember, I didn't think of swimming as a sport. And so I said, well, of course I can swim, which they thought was funny because a couple of them couldn't swim. So I just assumed everybody swam. Um, so then they asked me about how well I swam. And I realized I'm, I'm not a fast swimmer. I'm just a very solid swimmer because again, we really, we swam for safety. Um, and what they found when they were looking under swimming, because everyone decided at least that's something I could do, um, was something called synchronized swimming. Well, I had never heard of synchronized swimming. Um, so and it, we didn't have internet back then, so it wasn't like I could Google it or watch a video. Um, so I went to one of the practices. And what it is, is it's people basically dancing in the water and underwater. And so there's music and they're doing different movements all in um, synchrony. So being synchronized, they're all doing it at the same time. And it's really very beautiful to watch. Um, it's an Olympic sport, so you may have seen it, but I certainly had never even heard of it. And I remember thinking it met all my requirements. It wasn't competitive at the University of Massachusetts. Now it can be competitive, but they, they had what was called a club team. So they did it for fun and to put on shows. Um, 
And what I realized when I started with the team and I started the next week um, is it was another place where I could feel graceful. Just like when I was on the horse, I was graceful because I wasn't on the ground. The same thing happened when I was in the water. And that felt really good to be able to hear music and, and do all the movements with everybody else. Um, so that was my sport, even though I didn't realize it was a sport in college. And I ended up um, not only participating um, in the actual activities, but also choreographing um, some of the um, movements to the music. So you, I would pick a song and I could figure out how I wanted people to move it, move to that song and, and write that. So that was a, a fun activity as well for me. So as I got out of college and I, I grew up, um, I married someone who is a swim coach and both my boys um, were competitive swimmers. The one uh, was very fast and raced in college and the other one became a water polo player and was very good. So the person I married happens to be your coach this uh, summer and I always say we have a very chlorinated family.